You sound so tired. I know, I just don't like this kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> At all. I hate this kind of thing so That's much. That's why it's going to be so good. Oh, this is why it might be the worst idea you guys have <laughs> ever. The worst guy. I'm like the worst camera person. The worst This is the best. Person. This is getting better by oh, the second, gosh, dude. damn it. Oh, my God. All right, well. Well, let's start. Let's shoot ourselves too. in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> One bullet, two feet, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> My name's Craig Dunlap. I'm the CEO, CFO, and head of HR for Nation Golf Manufacturing, <laughs> Smoking Tom Swing Loop, Nation Derby, the Desert Classic. I got all those things under my belt. You're doing what? pretty good so far. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. Well, yeah, CFO, CEO. What can only be described as the height of laziness, narcissism, desperation. Adam Hawk and Ryan Engel here have asked me to guest host their show, The Fellowship with Adam Hawk. This is episode 10. We've been on a steady decline since episode one with all 1,600 followers. Views. <laughs> views. Sorry. Three followers, 1,600 views. I think we just got a couple, a couple more just there. <laughs> Probably not. Probably Everyone's not. nervous about this, including me. No one's more nervous than the man behind the lens, Nick, because he's getting paid to be here. No one else is. So, I think up. I'm nervous for the first time, too. Oh, well, yeah. Sorry, bud. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, you just hit me in the wiener. So. Well, as you can tell, Ryan Engel's here. He's, he's here. I'm a resident guest. The resident guest is here. And believe it or not, Adam Hawk is also here. Adam I'll Hawk's be, fucking nervous. I'll be taking Oh, Is it because I might say some bad words? Mm. Maybe. I'm going to try not to. That's going to be my thing. I'm not going to cuss. I'm going to make it a child, family-friendly show today. So, you know what? Let's just kick this thing I off. I will not. Episode 10. Here we go, dude. Can I get a drink, though, first? I had yours right here. I'm oh. pretty ready. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> Good morning, evening, afternoon, nighttime, ladies and gentlemen. Likely no ladies, to be honest with you. But gentlemen, <laughs> golf guys, fucking sports bros, fans. Really excited to host today's 10th episode and final episode <laughs> of The Fellowship with Adam Hawk and Ryan Angle. <laughs> I mean, here we are. I'm coming in. I don't know if anybody oh, knows. Man. I don't know if you guys know. This is the resident, hey, I, resident I, guest. I heard my name and I said, fuck, Ryan, I'm getting out there as soon as I can. Ryan man. Ingalls here, guys. Oh, well, holy shit. I'll give a brief intro of who I am. I'm Craig Dunlap. I'm the guy you heard Adam stroke for 16 minutes straight three weeks ago. Adam's my new best friend. I've known Ryan for probably 15 years. Been good friends with him for... Two. Eight, eight, <laughs> eight months, nine months, two years, five years, ten years. Fun fact, I was at Ryan's first and second wedding. So. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> that, that, yeah. Plaintiff is, number one nice. and two. So we got both yeah. of those. Mm. I'm always around. I'm usually the villain. I don't like being on camera unless I'm, you know, in Catalina talking shit, in the desert talking shit. That's what I do. That's what I'm good at. Not good at anything else. But I'm here, so let's bring on in my next guest, Adam Hawk. Well, I'd say, uh, I... Hey, thanks, guys. Uh, yeah. Thanks for standing and shaking hands. Appreciate that. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, I have some notes, okay? And th so you said you were going to keep it family-friendly. Uh, the very first word you said was, uh, fucking sports bros. <laughs> <laughs> and I, well, and, I'll drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll drink to that. And then talking shit twice, you just said. Also, um... He never introduced you and brought you on. You just walked on. I, I, I felt the call. Okay. Well, I felt the call. Craig, thanks for having us. We yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Should we start that over? Should we film nope, that again, Adam? Nope. nope. All, All right. right. Round two. Well, Let's go. I would say this. You don't suck at everything. Um, you're a man of many hats. Well, actually, you're not. That's the only hat you have. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it goes with that. I'm going to wear it like this the rest yeah. of the show. Yeah. <laughs> What were hey. you going to say about him? Uh, not, that's what I that's said. He just yeah. had a hat joke he wanted yeah. to throw in. Yeah. So. And speaking of hats, you actually uh, 
you're you're known for taking hats like that and putting them over open flames on a stove. Is that true? Adam, I'm the host here, okay. not you. You're right. So the questions yeah. are going to come from this side. I know you right. don't know how to do it. I need okay. my own. My ashtray. first, my first question. Here. I don't get to sit here often. This is nice. Yeah, it is nice, huh? Oh. That Ash. seat over there sucks. I like it. Yeah. It's yeah. probably a little divoted, too. Yeah. Big well, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Big guy. Yeah. You know, nice. I was thinking how I could support that because I'm just blowing that cushion out. You know, like when uh, the Sim- Simpsons pan away when Homer like goes to the fucking uh Okay, uh, first question. The, first the question. Yeah. First question. <laughs> it's a two-parter, actually. It, <laughs> this one's for Adam. Yes. All right. First question. The people have asked. I was getting hit up. Instagram. Facebook, MySpace, Tinder. They want to know. Grinder. They want to know. Two part question. Who did you vote for for the president of the United States? <laughs> Second part, are you upset that you voted for Joe Biden? <laughs> Uh, Craig, that's a wonderful question, and, and I appreciate you asking. Uh, thank you so much for bringing diplomacy and democracy into this conversation. We don't do enough of it, frankly. Um, and I will just probably say uh, this couch offset each other at the ballot booth. So we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Fair enough. Yeah, oh. fair enough. Well, I think we're done here, guys. <laughs> See you later. That's a great episode. Yeah. See you later. Well, okay. It goes to show. Two I people... literally just took whiskey down the wrong yeah. pipe. Well, it, it shows that uh, two people can coexist, right? Uh, yeah. That's a good thing. You yeah. Guys. yeah. Coexisting. Is I voted nice. for Nader, the Green Party. Oh, nice. Huh? Yeah. Wasted that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It didn't actually get to the fucking polls. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't make it anyway. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, but Tyler Steinreide has told me twice that he's written my name in for president. When he's voted, which was nice of him to do so. Yeah. Which I, is nice. Do you yeah. imagine you running the country? Oh, I mean, I'd do a lot better than Ice Cream Joe. I'd just say that. <laughs> and I was just like, why? Yeah. Why? It's a two on one. Yeah. Sorry, dude. No, okay. I'm just kidding. No I, I love that, you know, you're that guy. Thank you. I love it. That. Speaking of that, I heard you were from another country. Uh huh. Originally, before Fullerton, which uh, we hear Ryan give a hard time, yep. Fullerton, bars on the window, fucking blah, 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 whatever he says. Fullerton's a nice town. But you're originally from the Chaz. Is that correct? <laughs> oh, sorry, the Chop. The Capitol Hill yeah. occupied protest slash autonomous zone. Yes. What was it like growing up in a foreign land? <laughs> Uh, this is going great. No, it really this is. is. Going great. It, it's great. Uh, I I love Capitol Hill. Um, the autonomous zone came after I left. Um, I don't know that I would have been a part of the autonomous zone. I think it has since disbanded, and that might be for the best. I think uh, civility has restored in Capitol Hill. If I'm my sources are correct, which are my good friends up there. Uh, but yes, yeah, Seattle does feel like another country. But so does San Clemente, where we're at. Um, yes. Everyone here surfs and just makes fun of everyone else. Yeah. You guys treat outsiders like the plague. Uh, no one is nice to anyone down here, but it gives you a nice, thick exterior right away, which I think I have started to take on since coming down here. Just to clarify, I'm not from San Clemente. Yeah. yeah just, just want just, to clarify. Okay. I'm actually from San Juan Capistrano, north of here. San Clemente, Dana Point, they're all very different. Oh, are it's, they? Yes, they're okay. all very different. Uh, us outsiders lump them all in. Oh, okay. Cool. What are the biggest differences between the three cities? I'll let you take a stab at it. <clears throat> um, a lot. Okay. Well, <laughs> right on. Next, next question. Next question. Next question. <laughs> Great answer. Great answer. Oh. Well, I will say this, that San Clemente um, has a, a beautiful, you know, Geographically speaking, it's it's a beautiful land, and, and it's known for um, having such high real estate value because the best thing about San Clemente is the view of Dana Point. <laughs> Boom. Got him. <laughs> so, you know, oh, growing up classic. in Dana Point, we always really it's relished always, in the it's, fact. It's like a high know, school yeah, battle, yeah, you know, yeah, without yeah, the high yeah, school yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, they so. are, you're right, though. South Orange County is all the same place. Essentially, yeah. it's a bunch of, now, it's it kind of, you know. It's changed. It's a little different than it used to be, but yeah. it's it's probably more like Fullerton is probably more like it used to be here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Probably family vibe. Uh, that's it. A little bit of blue collar left. Yeah. Not much of that around here anymore, which is a shame. Shame yep. for our kids. Shame for our families. Follow up question. Yes, sir. Can't wait. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. It's not a follow-up at all. Ryan and Adam, how did you... This is a real thing. Uh-huh. And I've kind of heard this story, but I don't quite understand it. How did you... Cliff Notes version, just... Why are you he- why are you here? Why <laughs> I don't I or mean how did he get here? I know Ryan. I I've known him for a good amount of time. Yeah. Like I said, I was at his first wedding with the long hair and the Bob Marley themed tables. <laughs> I was at the second wedding yeah. at the country club. Yeah. Right. Hey, Ryan's come not, a long way. Ryan's kinda like Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> not in any type of like healing property or savior <laughs> yeah, of the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's got a beginning. And then he's got the current. Yeah. Uh-huh. But there's a lot of nothing in the middle. <laughs> and what what that was was yeah. turbo tunnel ads yeah. and yeah. fucking yeah. long hair Bob yeah. Marley, yeah. dude. Yeah. So I just want I just want to clarify before. Sure. Yeah. Well, you can first answer. I want to Sorry, compliment. You can answer. I want to compliment your knowledge of the New Testament because that was a very apt description of our Lord and Savior. A lot happened in the beginning and we celebrate it. A lot happened at the end and we celebrate it. And I really don't know what happened between birth to age 33 for the man. So that was very well put by you. Um, Why am I here? I was originally drawn to Ryan's personality and to his design work so much so that I wanted to actually get ownership in it. So I pitched him after I uh, met him uh, through Instagram actually. And what I would say is like the guy in the tips videos is that guy 24 seven. It is nonstop well, shit talk, nonstop banter, nonstop. If jokes. I like you. Yeah. And I am the absolute, if I like you. I'm the punching bag of it all, which yeah. is fine. You're a great punching bag. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm an everlasting punching bag. Yeah. And you're about the size of a punching bag yeah. <laughs> since you started. I was looking through some, water, <laughs> some dirt. Kind of get some like background feeling it out. I was sure. like, I've been watching, and I'm like, Adam's a he's a fucking pro. Thank All you. those junior college classes yeah. have brought him to this level. Yeah. And I go, what do I do uh, when I get the text last night? Yeah. Eight miles long with all the things I needed to have ready. And I just yeah. going, I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking. Yeah. Who is this? Yeah. Adam, who? Two oh six. Yeah. Is that, t- that who? So so I I like how professional you are. <clears throat> One thing I, I, I love like what is, you do. Thank you. But, Ryan, I'm trying to get to a point here. Yeah, thanks. So what What I wanted to, to see, you, you, your old self, let's mm-hmm. say, four or five years ago, mm-hmm. a lot of tie-dye shirts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that still, is that like still a thing? Because yeah. I didn't know. I, I haven't known you for long. I've obviously known he you. He shows up in Ryan. all black, like he just got off work at Hot Topic. Well, like black jeans, black shirt, black shoes, black yeah. socks. Well, that's the the national uniform of the chess. <laughs> so fucking hooded sweatshirt, yeah. looking like Seth from the OC. Yeah. yeah, you kind of sorry once again, Seth from the OC. That's the only note I took. Yeah, you remember that show? Of course. And you are that guy. The actor's name is Adam Brody, Brody, Brody. And in high school, everyone you know thought that I looked like Adam Brody and acted like Adam Brody and. Yes. Uh, in that show, he had a lot of pictures of like indie bands, like posters of indie mm-hmm. bands, like uh, Pinback and Modest Mouse in his room. Oh, and so cool. And ever, yeah. And well, <laughs> sorry, it's not Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Good yeah. One. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ryan's a little bit older. Yeah, forget. yeah, yeah. We do forget. He's he's a uh, he's an old soul with a young attitude, which is a great mix. No, but... he's just old. He's <laughs> like older, like than us. Yeah. We're young guys. Yeah. We're in our thirties. That's true. You know? yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. I like red hot chili peppers, and we're just like, that's not cool, yeah. dude. Well, the, the first time I met Ryan, we went out to Indian Wells, and I was with him and Steve Taylor, and we were breaking the ice at. Uh, a steakhouse. Um, the name escapes me. LG. LG Steakhouse. I think yeah. Steve ordered mac and cheese and fries, and Ryan and I got <laughs> steaks. Yeah, with ketchup. Um, and I was just trying to break the ice. And you know, as much as I like golf, I don't like to talk about it all the time. And there's more to a person than golf. And so I asked the question. You know, uh, what's like the best concert you've been to? I was just breaking the ice, and he was like, "Red Hot Chili Peppers at the Forum," and I was like, "Do I really want to be a part of this company?" <laughs> And you still, yes, you I still did. did. I can look. Did. I can look past Anthony Kiedis's terrible vocals because Flea is an amazing bass player. He's the greatest bass player of all time. He's That's great. That's not factually yeah. true. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I love. Believe me, I will. I will admit this. I used to really enjoy the Red Hot Chili Peppers when I was in middle school. 
I might have even had like an album or two from high school. Mm -hmm. Only CDs I've ever given away in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Only once. I've got I've got my first Green Day yeah. Dookie, Dookie CD, which was you know my I was in second grade, mm -hmm. bought it for three dollars off my neighbor. Was just like. And that actually, that uh, they suck, dude. Yeah, they are they so bad. They're horrible. Well, but as a now. kid, as a second yeah. grader, they're awesome. Yeah. yeah. And as like a middle schooler, you're like, I get it. I feel this angst. Yeah, totally. This sucks. Now though, it's all about sleep yes. and ohm, dude. That's it. That's all Most, I like. That's all Adam likes. Little stoner doom metal. Yeah. yeah. There were two <laughs> records. Good for that, you guys. There, there were two <laughs> records that uh, kids our age had, Craig. Uh, and. Maybe you had them, maybe you didn't. But the first two records I ever bought were Will Smith, Big Willie Style, and oh, the yeah. Space Jam soundtrack. Oh, I didn't oh, have either. God. I feel like everyone had those two, and then they mixed in some jock maybe, jams here Maybe and there. on your street, but uh, I've never he heard had of the He had the first, uh, the Frampton Comes Alive. That was his street in 1974, dude. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like I do? <laughs> So, uh, That's a good one, dude. <laughs> Howdy. But what was the question? Uh, how we met. Let's get to the bottom Somewhere of it. Around. Uh, basically, yeah, shitty music. basically, yeah. your tie dye shirts. I, oh, I, yeah, yeah, that's right. You asked if tie dye shirts are still a thing for me. Uh, not currently. I did go through uh, quite the phase, and I will openly admit on camera, I went through an EDM phase. Are you familiar with that acronym? That's uh, 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 I know. I know. Okay. I know what you mean. Electronic dance music. Yeah. A lot of oons, oons, a lot of dubstep, a lot of raves, a lot of uh, 3D glasses to really trip out at the light shows. Um, while I... Wow, that sounds cool. Doesn't it? Um, <laughs> it, it was kind of fun, you know? Big community of people. I'd love to see you at one of those now. I would love to see you at one of those now. <laughs> that would be good. Ryan would like No, no way. way. Here's Ryan the thing. No Ryan way. has a... Uh, he's got a Vegas trip coming up, and he said he was going to go to a nightclub. And my jaw it was shattered into a million pieces when he said that because I don't think he understands. No, I'm forced to be going to a nightclub. I don't think he understands what a uh, nightclub is. Birthday. Taking the whole family. We're going for Thanksgiving. We're going to eat Thanksgiving dinner at a buffet in Vegas. <laughs> you know, I think he is thought. Is that a Hawaiian thing? <laughs> yes. Well, they say yeah, ninth Las island, Vegas eight, is the 9th. 11th island? 8th island. 8th mm. island? islands are in Hawaii? I, I think know. technically there's more, but they don't count a couple of them. But they call Vegas, I think, the eighth. Can, can you name them all? No. <laughs> I can name. Hawaii, I can name Maui, five of them. Yeah. Kauai. Sure. Manai. Nee Hao. Molokai. <laughs> Molokai. Uh, I think I got six. They call got they six. call Hawaii the Big Island, but since they call the mainland the mainland, I always joke and call the Big, the big Island. Island. The main island. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my little. Eh. Yeah, welcome to Yeah, guys. Well, yeah. <clears throat> so you're you're going to a nightclub? Yeah, in Vegas. Yeah, in Vegas. Where? And guess who got us in? Rod Brewster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 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 Knew exactly yeah. who got yeah. you in. Here's big shout about. out to yeah. Rod Brewster, to Rod senior Brewster. and junior. Senior and junior. Yeah. Senior. What the, a the Brewster Ryan. fam. Craig, here's what All I love about Ryan going to a nightclub is on paper. He thinks he's going to wear a suit and walk in and Frank Sinatra is going to be in the corner singing and they're going to be drinking scotch all night and it's going to, you're going to be able to hear yourself talk. And so I showed him a video of the nightclub at his hotel. He's staying at the MGM and they've got the nicest nightclub on the strip. It's called Hakkasan and it's essentially five stories of a seizure happening. <laughs> it's just Christ. lights going off, 90% naked chicks with shaved heads and just a bunch of people rolling on MDMA. And I was like, you're not gonna- It's MDMA. Molly, oh ecstasy. I was like, there's not going to be- Why do they keep changing the name of these drugs? Kids. Just tell me if it's an upper or a downer. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I think it's, I think it's neither. Uh, a a hallucin hallucinogen, mm. right? Is I, that, or is it not? It is not a hallucinogenic. Mushrooms and acid are hallucinogenics. The yeah, these would be- When they're be, made from chemicals, are they something All else? of this stuff is. It's all, it's, it qualifies as a designer drug. I can't believe we're going down this on the fellowship. Guy, you seem to know a lot about this, Hawk. <laughs> I'm from Seattle, dude. <laughs> it's a doctor. Over yeah, there. It's, it, it's a prerequisite. Dr. Hawk reporting to the nightclub. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so the tie-dye shirt phase is over. Long story short. Great. And I'm glad that it is. But it was a fun time, made a lot of friends, and uh, one of those friends actually designed the Swing Loop beer can and is now a friend of Ryan's. 
And it goes to show you, as two people might vote differently and as two people might have different experiences, a Bob Marley wedding and a rave uh, background, uh, they can come together later in life when they're more mature and better people and make a golf brand. The election was like nine months ago, dude. Was it? What do you mean later in life? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I'm just no, kidding. No, We're no, not going to get no, nine no, long, no. regretful <laughs> months. <laughs> Sorry, it was 12 months, I, I 11 actually, months ago. I love it. That, that was clever. I'm Clearly, kidding. I have not grown up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'll say, I'll say this. I, I kind of glossed over it, and I, was, I wasn't giving you a softball, but I was giving you the one thing that we really linked up on. Yeah. Was Sleep, yeah. Slash Home, yeah. different bands, the sickest bands. I don't only listen. I don't only listen to... Yeah. to classic music. Classic music like Sleep, Dope Smoker. You know, oh, great albums, stoner yeah. metal, doom metal, yep. sludge, whatever you want to call it. We were at <clears throat> my personal bar that I don't own because it's in a warehouse I work at. Adam and I, Ryan, we're doing a photo shoot. We're doing the thing. This is just for the audience. It's, I guess I could just look in the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we yeah. are Work's sitting rough. there hanging out, having drinks. Tiki drinks is a tiki bar. And I was playing, you know, the standard Mark Denny Arthur Lyman, whatever, right? The playlist, well, all the exotica. There's the greatest hits. You got the lights going. You got the bar scene and just the rain. The thunder. The, the thunder, lightning. you know, like the whole thing. And it's just bitching. We're all having just cocktail after cocktail. I made a bunch of drinks. Having a great time. A couple hours in, you're like, it's fucking fun, you know? But I get you, you get a little bored. You get a little a little bored of the atmosphere sometimes. Sure. The liquor was kind of, the, the, the nice cocktails had winded down. It was then just grabbing whatever was behind the bar, kind of changing it up a little bit. I go, we need to change of pace, you know. So I go, I'm gonna fucking trip all these nerds out right now. I'm gonna put on some fucking, I'm gonna put on some own, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I, I put a song on. I think it was like Unitive Knowledge of the Godhead or something. Play it two notes in. Adam goes, yo, dude, you just put on Ohm? And I go, did we just become best yeah, friends? Yeah, 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 that's exactly how that went. Oh, yeah. that's so good. So we're going to cut right now to Dope Smoker. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in an hour and it's seven a short minutes. Song. It runs an hour and eight minutes. Uh, no, that was a wonderful bonding experience because I asked you the very obvious follow-up question when you put on Ohm was, do you like sleep? And before I could even get to the second syllable in sleep, uh, which there is no second syllable, you, as I just realized saying that out loud, uh, sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were like, you're in Hawaii, bro. Sleep. <laughs> sleep. Yeah. Yeah. You were like, of course. And uh, we, we bonded on that, which was fantastic. Another great takeaway from that, two great takeaways. You introduced me to Martin Denny, which I have now taken with me and shown other people, and they love it. it there's no better music to put on when you're going for a night swim in the desert, like if you've got a rental and like they pile in the pool and it's 80 degrees and it's 10 o'clock at night and you put on a little Martin Denny, people look oh. at you and they're like, you're a king for this and mm -hmm. they don't know what it is and they get stoked. The second takeaway is we did a photo shoot in that personal bar of yours. And Ryan can attest to this. The number one question we got after that photo shoot is where is this bar? Yeah. And mm -hmm. the best part was yeah. responding to them like, you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. you're not gonna know. Yeah, and that you're that not would, gonna get invited. Yeah. Which it's literally is the, the coolest bar in South Orange County is your bar, and no one will ever know where it is or get in. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Well, and we've been there. We've yeah. been there. You've been, You've been there. there multiple times. You're a tiki drink expert. Tiki guy. Tiki. I'm a tiki guy. Yeah. I don't want to say an expert, but I'm definitely. He's an expert. You won't. You won't stake the claim, but I will stake it you... for him. Um, uh, he's for an expert. For people that don't expert. know me, I think mm -hmm. everyone that's watching probably fucking knows me. I don't think. Yeah. I, I mean, Maybe somebody. All 16 of them. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what up? Shout out to all my boys out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we all know who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, if you're watching this still, yeah. you fuck, you're like, this yeah, guy's yeah. an asshole. Looks like Cal Worthington. The only other thing I like more oh, than man. vintage yeah. Western wear, uh -huh. my family and my friends and the Roman Catholic Church yeah. is tiki shit. Yeah. I love tiki shit. What a great order. Yeah. That was a great well, order. no, I mean, you know. There's a, there's sometimes the friends go above the family for you sometimes D to the detriment of my relationships with my family I'm sure that does because <laughs> I'm just too nice I'm too yeah. nice of a friend I'm too fucking nice I'm yeah. so so nice People always tell nicest me nice guy so nice yes. lame <laughs> <laughs> so nice yeah nicest guy but tiki stuff I, I love tiki stuff I love and I don't mean like ah party city and you had a luau and we're gonna put up some fucking things. Yeah. Like that's what I collect. That's what I collected for 
15 years mm -hmm. and it's just it's all cool and escapey mm. and awesome yeah and the drinks are good i love all alcohol but i really love tiki drinks yeah and jim beam jim beam too yeah karuba brought a bottle in for you guys brought a bottle karuba, yeah. brought a bottle. Nice. karuba yeah. good jamaican rum but <clears throat> sorry on a tangent but just for the you know viewers to know. You know, my, like my wife uh, really was impressed by the decor at your house. We were recently at your house for your birthday. Thank you for the invite. Um, and Was you, she the last invite? Or the... I don't know. How far down no, on the I don't list think was you were down. The list started like two days before the party, so oh, okay. any invite was a last minute. Invite. I'm typically the guy. No, I meant like on the list. Yeah. yeah. Like you get to the oh, bottom. No, no yeah. I think you were, you were probably like lower. We're like best friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The, the, the decor just even coming into your house. You have like uh, I don't know what those wooden poles are called with the big thick like ship ropes that connect. It it looks like you're walking into like some really cool restaurant, but at your house there's giant fish on the wall. Uh, the backyard is as uh, Seth from the Water Project put it. What's his last name? Seth Water Project. Willingham. Willingham. He goes. Shout out Seth. He goes. Craig has it dialed, and I that was a great word to use for that. Um, so we had a good time, and then someone's kid started a putting South County term right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> little South Stoked County dials. Yeah, it was, it was dials. Frothing, yeah. fully dialed. Yeah, fucking fr freaking frothing. Over <laughs> yeah, here, no, no, psyching. <laughs> I want to know, know that, uh, that what was the backyard like the day after you let all of your friends ravage seafood? I, I Rats said, everywhere. I said I wasn't gonna curse, and I just did, and I corrected myself. But if you're asking. Seafood boil, whatever crap, and I was probably the only. I was the main guy throwing trash on the ground because it was my backyard. I don't know, it's not trash I want. What I said was, it's gonna smell like button back here, yeah, and it smelled like button straight up. What's your eight million shrimp tails? Mandy's cleaning up this party at one o'clock. I, I'll say this too: only time I ever tooled out my own party. Yeah, I came outside. That was rare for you. I was sitting on the patio. Mm. This. Walked in, was like, I think I'm gonna, th I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> and then gonna throw up. Walked in, couldn't throw up. I'm like an adult, too much of an adult now. Where before it was like, I'm gonna throw up. There's nothing I can do. Yeah. Now I just have willpower, strong. Yeah. Well, I'm just laying, I'm, I'm kneeling in my bathroom. Like uh -huh. my, it's my birthday. I yeah. can throw up at 11 o'clock at night. I don't. Wander back outside like a zombie. Go, hey guys, I don't care what you do. I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah. Just close close the door when you're done. Uh huh. Went to bed. Wow. Yeah. First time for everything. So yeah. yeah. Tool um, out. Tool out my own party. So yeah, you were telling everyone just take your shrimp heads and your crab shells and legs and throw them. Throw in. them on the ground. And it was nighttime, so it was very yes. dark, and I don't think we could see how much mess we had created. But the rats I, and crows got like eighty percent. of it. Yeah. Kind of crazy, actually. Well, I, so when I walked away from that, I was like. I would hate to be the owner of that house. Because... Yeah, yeah. It was actually, I'm normally the like buzz cleanup guy. You're like, <laughs> got a cool Same. buzz. And you're Same. just like, bah, bah, bah. like nothing better than waking up the next morning and just going like, eh, it's all good. Yeah. I'm good. It's clean. Yeah. I, I had to get up pretty early, probably the next day too. I did get up at four thirty actually the next day, so I was definitely, wow. but I was like, I got like six hours, of, six yeah. hours of sleep on a Saturday after party and not bad. So I was sitting there going like, Dude, I can't. I can't do it. This is gonna be a horrific day. Mandy was already in. She was already in bed. The kids were down. All that. She got up when I went down, and then cleaned up, like the amazing wife she is. Yeah. Cleaned up basically the whole party. Had a watermelon dropped on her head by a rat in one of my trees. <laughs> whole watermelon. Will you believe that? No, I, I mean, was the rat there only because there was food? Would that rat not have been there had we not oh, crashed the backyard? It, we're, you know, outside. There's going to be a rat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. we're out yeah. here. This yeah. isn't, we're not in the Chaz. They it have, they have wildlife it here. It could have snuck there in uh, the tailpipe of Mr. Fuller, Fullerton's car. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what's crazy, though, the, the, this rat, God's honest truth, drops a 24-pound watermelon out of my orange tree. Uh-huh. Straight onto my wife's head. Like Gallagher. Like Gallagher with the mallet. <laughs> <laughs> she just got a poncho on, gets this, this thing jump, and the rat not only drops it, yeah. looks down and goes, Hey! <laughs> what are you doing with my watermelon? <laughs> Swear to God. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> Son of a bitch. A couple more notes on that party. Uh, one, a very interesting uh, picture I noticed in your main bathroom uh, for the guest. There is a cat with a dead lizard in its mouth in the bathroom. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, I noticed. Because it, awesome. it, it kind of like, you see it and then I'm a cat guy. I so, forget you're a cat guy. Yeah, I'm drawn to it. My wife's a cat lady. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Most She's cat people cats. are women, so I, I kind of stand on hey, this hill alone. I'm a, I'm, I'll say it to the camera right now. I'm completely cool with cats. I'm not an animal guy. Don't really care much for animals, pets in general. Fuck dogs. <laughs> cats are all right, dude. Cats just do their own thing. Yeah. They cruise. You go like this guy. He's like the epitome of like yeah. a man. He's the guy that would have a dog. Yeah. No, I wouldn't have a dog. Yeah. Some stupid ass dog yeah. walking around, <laughs> shitting all over the place. Correct. Cats poop in a litter box. Yeah, like a like a human shits in a toilet, dude. <laughs> right. Oh, right. instead of shitting on the ground and eating it. Yeah. You disgusting dogs. Yeah. I will. Uh, I, I won't forget bore, about it. I won't bore the audience with my diatribe on this, but I will send you a video of me on a nationally syndicated radio show. Torching dog guy and dog culture to the ground. God, they're the worst. Yeah. I don't even mind the dogs. Right. It's the humans. It's the humans. Yeah. It's the dressing them up. It's the taking them everywhere. It's Not when... even their dressing. Just the dog people. Mm -hmm. Dog people think that there has to be a dog person or cat person. I wouldn't give a damn about a dog yeah. if you didn't shove it in my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're right. You're right. I'm just kidding. No, no I genuinely, I'm, I'm serious. I'm just kidding about the cursing because I said I was yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but we, I just... we know you're kidding now. <laughs> <laughs> only, oh God. Only, only a dog person will have a dog run their dog run up to you, jump on you, scratch you, and bite you, and then he's have just saying hi. He he's likes just you. Hi. Yeah, he's got the. They've got the nerve to say they like you. Well, that's a weird way of showing me that they like me. Seriously. Also, your house smells and you don't realize it. And I don't want to be here. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, no, I don't even no. have a dog. I've always worried my house smells. <laughs> I don't have a dog, but I was like, you know, house where they yeah. nose scent blind or you never, nose You never blind. got to see Craig's pig. No, but yeah. I was here when you received a text that Craig's pig, uh, rest in peace, had passed away. And mm. he had to call somebody to come load it in a truck. Yeah, yeah. This is turning into you interviewing me again. So Sorry. I'm yeah, trying sorry. to not. You're you know really good. You're really good. We can I, switch seats. No, I'm gonna, no, 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 I love when I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this opportunity no. first to... Uh, um, say thank you to the ammunition uh, whiskey family. Is that uh, good? Yeah. So these guys, <laughs> these guys know. sponsored us. I'm I'm about to fill you up. But uh, what's great about these guys is they make wine as well. Thanks so they have these two. Would you ice him up? Yeah. They have these two um, whiskeys out. This is a, a straight rye, but it's finished in a Pinot Noir barrel, Ooh. and that's a uh, bourbon that's finished in a Cabernet Sauvignon Sauvignon, Sauvignon barrel. Um, it's actually pretty delicious stuff. I think you'll enjoy this. And it's 90 uh, proof, which yeah. I like. Yeah. We had it the other day, and we both got home and said, oh, smells, are you feeling okay? And I was sweet. like, yeah, I'm feeling okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I just okay. am uh, feeling like a king. Um, yep. Yeah. I'll pour my own. Yeah. What a host. But anyways. Uh, oh. Yeah, why don't you fill it up, Craig? Wow, this, thing's been, this thing's been empty for a while. Yeah, I'm sitting here with a half a freaking drink. I am the host, though. I am the host. That's what I do for my guest. Yeah. I want to uh, tie a bow real quick. Who took that picture of the cat with the lizard in its mouth? Uh, probably my wife. That was one of our cats. It's a great picture. Yeah, it was a, I mean, frameable, frameable picture. Yeah, yeah. Huge shout out. Huge shout out mm -hmm. to the dead cat with the, uh, it was alive at the time. The lizard in his mouth. All of our cats are now dead. All of our animals are dead. It's very freeing. I recommend it to everybody. Has animals. <laughs> Let them die. Yeah. And you'll be just like, dude, what do you have to do today? You're like, just deal with a bunch of kids. That's it. Right. No animals. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. You go on vacation. You oh. can't take pets to the grocery store. You can't, you can't well, take pets to the desert. They do now. Hey, this is Adam Hawk with the Fellowship. Thank you so much for watching part one with our special guest host. Craig Dunlap. There's actually more to this conversation, which we're very excited to show you. Stay tuned. That is coming out very shortly right here on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher. Part two with special guest host Craig Dunlap coming up shortly.